Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be going over the top 10 most expensive games that bombed. Why are you asking about that car? No reason. See you later. For this list, we'll only be including games we can put concrete budgets to, or that showed evidence that their sales were not as high as anticipated. So which pricey game failed the worst in your eyes? Do you think all copies of it deserve to be buried in the desert? Be sure to let us know in the comments. Before we continue, we'll be doing a deep dive on this list's number one entry over on Mojo Plays, so be sure to check it out once you've finished watching. Number 10. This is Vegas Most of the games on our list were actually finished, but not this one. This is Vegas was intended to be an open world game set in Las Vegas with an apparent emphasis on nightclub management. While that doesn't seem like it would have set the world on fire, gamers never got a chance to find out. Since the same year This Is Vegas was due to release, the development studio's parent company Midway Games filed for bankruptcy and was sold to the video game division of Warner Brothers, who canceled the game. Estimates of the total amount invested in the creation of the unmade game range between 40 and 50 million dollars. Sounds like a bad weekend in Vegas. Number 9. Daikatana I'm gonna try and fix this access computer. One of the gaming industry's most infamous disappointments, Daikatana was a much-hyped game due to it being the first game developed by John Romero since leaving id Software. However, Daikatana was plagued by a mountain of behind-the-scenes drama, from engine changes to staff reshuffling to numerous delays. That meant that by the time the finished product hit, it was a massive disappointment, and many considered it outdated for the time. Its sales reflected that disappointment since, despite having a budget of around $44 million, Daikatana only sold around 40,000 units in its first year instead of the projected 2.5 million. Number 8. The Secret World You've been brought here because they need you here. We can give you the world. Come, and you'll see. MMORPGs can be a tough sell, outside of a few titles, but The Secret World offers an intriguing modern-day setting with horror elements that is fairly unique in the genre. However, despite its interesting premise and the ability to respec your character basically whenever, The Secret World proved a disappointment at launch selling only around 200,000 copies at launch against a $50 million budget. However, a rebranding as The Secret World Legends and a relaunch in 2017 helped improve on that somewhat, though not to the point where we'd call it a success. Whatever your reasons for being here, you bring a reckoning. Number 7. Darksiders 2 Hack and slash action RPGs were all the rage in 2012, and Darksiders 2 upped the ante by having the player control Death himself, one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. The game even managed to be the best selling game of August that year. However, the problem was that its sales, which were around 1.5 million copies by November, couldn't match up to the $50 million THQ poured into the game. THQ went bankrupt and the property was sold to Nordic Games, which released a remaster. Nordic Games CEO Lars Vingafors has claimed that the original budget was too much. Hopefully he kept costs down on the new version. Number 6. The Shenmue Series I'm Yo Hazuki of the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Hazuki-san? The Shenmue games have been some of the most influential and beloved games of the last few decades, but that doesn't mean they've been as successful as the games they've inspired. The first and part of the second entry in the series cost between 47 and 70 million in development and marketing, breaking records at the time. But sales for the first game were only a little over a million copies, likely due to it being on the failing Dreamcast system, and the second entry was never even sold in North America on its original system. While a Kickstarter campaign managed to get a third game developed, it wasn't a runaway success either, at least in terms of hard copies. It's his handwriting, without a doubt. Okay. Are you sure it didn't contain any clues? Number 5. Defiance 
Put the antenna locations on our map, so let's get them rebooted. Defiance is a game developed in tandem with a mildly popular sci-fi original series. And while that may sound like an absolute goldmine of cross-promotion, it unfortunately was not. The developers not only sank over $80 million into MMO FPS, but they also made it free to play, almost ensuring they'd make a loss on it, given that it wasn't an established property. While the game continues to be supported to this day, albeit no longer on Xbox 360, its ability to turn a profit seems to have been destined for failure from the start. I can sense your nervousness, but don't fret. I'm the Environmental Guardian online device that was injected into your body. You can just call me Ego. Number 4. Halo MMORPG, a.k.a. Titan. Enemy engagement. I'll get them! Halo may be trying to rebound from a rough patch at the moment, but the franchise's highs have made it one of gaming's most successful. Still, even its early days were not without failures. Between 2004 and 2007, the team that would eventually go on to make Halo Wars worked on a Halo MMO, which was codenamed Titan. Precious little is known about it, but for how little the developers had to show for it, they seem to have thrown a lot of money at a failed concept with the budget clocking in at around $90 million. One potential reason for its failure was the advent of more casual gaming during this period. <laughs> Number 3. APB All Points Bulletin Developed by Real Time Worlds, the developers of Crackdown, APB All Points Bulletin was designed as an online open-world game featuring factions of law enforcement and criminals competing in missions against each other. Its budget was $100 million, making it one of the most expensive games ever made. However, all that money couldn't save it from the numerous delays that left the finished product feeling unfinished to many reviewers. Ultimately, its exorbitant costs led real-time worlds to go into administration, the British equivalent of bankruptcy. A revamped version was released a few years later as a free-to-play game, but by then, the damage had been done. All that matters is making your mark. Number 2. Too Human We are mankind's only hope. Men of Midgard, we are on a vital mission to uphold justice gonna be a rough trip. Development hell is a frequent culprit as to why so many of these costly games failed, and Too Human lasted for almost a decade. Along with its many delays and several system switches, Too Human also got involved in a costly lawsuit regarding its engine, which forced a recall. All told, its budget came in at somewhere between 60 and 100 million. And for a game that only managed around 700,000 units sold, it was definitely a bomb. While some have praised aspects of its lore and story, two humans' failures are too many for it to be a success. Never forget what we have sacrificed for the good of humanity. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few other bombs that we want to give honorable mention love to. Uru, Ages Beyond Mist. 12 million couldn't help it stack up to its predecessors. I probably know more about why you're here than you do. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You felt drawn here, just like the others. Death Stranding. No exact number, but it definitely didn't make its money back. The time pool fast forwards whatever it touches, but it can't wash everything away. Brutal Legend. Between 20 and 25 million and brutal sales figures. <laughs> Duke Nukem Forever. 20 to 30 million of the developer heads own money at least. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. E.T. The Extraterrestrial E.T. Video game? There's a lot of failed games on this list, but none of them approaches the degree of failure of this licensed movie tie-in. 
Although Atari's purchase of the rights to use E.T. cost around 53 to 66 million of today's dollars, the game's five-week development time and numerous bugs ensured that only 1.5 to 5 million copies Atari produced were sold. Not only were the excess copies buried, but the entire debacle is often cited as one of the major contributing factors to the video game industry's crash of 1983, putting its true cost potentially in the billions of dollars. Oops. If you want to know why we chose our number one pick for this list, head over to Mojo Plays and watch our in-depth analysis of the entry. Check the link in the description below.